Welcome into the Murano Campus Center. I am Zach Case alongside Thomas Turgeon, and we're here for an Oswego State Lakers matchup against the Nazareth Gold Flyers. It should be an interesting one today. Oswego coming off a win yesterday in Utica. Nazareth played Utica on Wednesday, so nice and fresh for the Flyers. Oswego coming back home, hopefully to take a huge two points today. Yeah, both teams are coming off a two-game win streak. This is a non-conference matchup, but deep into the season here for both teams, this is gonna be a good momentum builder for either team, whoever gets the win here, as they move forward into their final couple games of the it season. It should truly be an interesting one as both teams are rolling in hot with that two-game win streak. But let's see how things play out today as last year they met with a 1-1 tie back in January in Skinny Atlas. Yeah, the Nazareth Golden Flyers only in their second year uh, as a D3 program. Uh, you see, you talked about that tie in Skinny Atlas. Both teams will be, be starting their starting goaltenders along with their third lines. As we're set for the faceoff, we have purple for Nazareth going right to left. And as we go in white, as here's your faceoff. Be a convoy will win the faceoff as Nazareth gets in the zone. That's Tegger. Tegger takes it up the right side. She's going to dump it off the boards. That's Darby there. Number seven, that's Stalin as it, she gets a shot and goal. Here comes Gustafson off the far side. She's gonna pass it to Anka Frider as that will get lost. Number 26, uh, Kelly Rose, the captain, will get that puck there. She passes over to the right side. As here comes Nazareth on the breakout, up to number three. To crease, that crease. She has number seven drive towards the net. And Farmer with a big save as she gets taken out with the save. It's a good save there right off the bat, only at least 40 seconds into the game there, Thomas. Today's game is gonna be huge when it comes to goaltending. Farmer's been pretty solid here past three starts, 62 saves out of 68 shots. And at the other end, we have Adriana Brem, who's been just as hot for the Golden Flyers this year. As Thomas will lose the face off there for Oswego. There's Aaron Stewart, she'll try to get the puck out. It's kept in by number 11 for for the Nazareth Golden Flyers. Is there Stewart again? So he looks for Teach out. That gets cut off. With number 10 coming in. So there's a battle in, in the slot area. That one's get thrown on net. Misses wide as Webster's on that one. She's battling there. Goes to number 18. Out in front. And that's blocked away by the Lakers. To go back up to the point here. Shot on net. Coleman's in, tipped. And that one goes in. That's a goal for the Nazareth Golden Flyers. It looked like it was tipped. But number 18, Abby Luth, who is the leading goal scorer for the team. And what a goal is for only a minute 10 in the game, Thomas. And we haven't started to discuss about this, but that line on the ice that scored there, their top line when it comes to points, Redders with 25, Luth with 26, and even Nichols with 23. So that's gonna be the line to look up against when you're the Lakers today. So Nather gets on the board. There's Sarah Cruz with a face off. Went back to Molly Evans, she'll dump it in. Is there's that th second line there getting in? Oh, big collision with the goaltender. Brem looks like she'll get up as Nether gets the puck back on the left side. Clean breakout by Nether up to number four. That's Ray. Ray, smart move right into the middle of Farmer. Is there's another shot on goal as it looks like Nath is coming right off the bus here and they're ready to get set here. No bus likes today for the Golden Flyers, but the Lakers, last game they played at home, and we'll see the goal here hopefully. In their last game against Morrisville, they came out with a rough start, but they ended up taking the win there, so let's see if they can do it today. Yep, and Molly Evans with the puck on the left corner. She gets battled there by number four. That's Ray again, Ray with a shot earlier. It's now the puck behind the net. It's battle, and there's three Lakers back there. Molly Evans will come away with the puck. She'll pass up the Shines. Shines misses the pass, it's kept in by the Lakers. There's Ray, will get that puck deep, but she'll get a line change. There's number 22. Will Jan, Will Jan with the puck, she'll dump it back low for a cycle. Molly Evans picks up the puck behind the net. She's looking for Garug and his, his uh, the defender keeps that puck and keeps it low as they're just all over this Lakers defense. Keep them hemmed in the zone. It's number 13, she'll cycle the puck down low. Number 21, it's at that fourth line. Johnson, Johnson's out there, up to number eight. She looks for Verona, Verona with a shot. That'll go wide into the corner. Nather keeps the puck now. Here comes Molly Evans. She's looking for the puck here. She'll try to dump that out. Strong keep in there by the defender. So there's a scrum on the left side. Here's Barona again. Barona. She'll dump that pack in. She'll get a line change. Molly Evans picks up the puck once again. She'll try to get it out to Grugan. Grugan will get that puck. 
That's get as far as the red line. It's number 20 keeps it. That'll get deep there. So Byrne keeps the puck. Should go behind Farmer, looking for anything right towards the natural bench. They'll get the puck in the back into the zone. They haven't really gotten a line change at all. Oswego's been kept in the zone here. Back up to number seven. She'll walk the line here. Over. DeMeo will keep the puck there. Strong defense still by the Lakers. It's Evans and looks like number 20 in there for Mickelier. Mickelier keeps the puck down. She'll try to get that puck out again. Over to McCowan. There's Morissette. She'll have the puck. Molly Evans back to her and they'll get the puck out, but it won't go as far as the red line as the Nazareth Golden Flyers control. Comes over to the bench. That's Morissette getting the puck deep. Won't get past the defender. It'll go over to number 11, DeMio. DeMio with the puck here. Goes around Mickelier and she'll hit the line here and that'll get the puck in deep. The Lakers are struggling to generate some offense here as they've been outshot three nothing and a little under four minutes gone here in the first. And Nazareth keeping the puck in the zone right now as well. Redders get a puck, get a shot on goal here. Here's his first line, take a shot. Cross ice pass there, that was a big save there on Nichols. The puck will come out again. Madison Burns still has gone off the ice for the Lakers. She's been hemmed in that D zone. It's the puck's in the neutral zone here. Randazzo controls. She almost gets her pocket picked here by number 19. That's Redders. Another lead, leading score for the Golden Flyers. The puck will come back to number nine. Kubis passes over to 26. That's Rose. Rose will try to get the puck in on the regroup there. This puck will come out. Almost too many men for the Lakers as Rose will come back and set up for the Lakers. The Lakers are struggling here right now as we speak. Fatigue is certainly gonna be a factor for them more importantly than over the Golden Flyers as playing in Utica yesterday as we mentioned. The Flyers haven't played since Wednesday. Rose looking for number four, number four. That's a good play by Kate Rondazzo. As the puck comes out of its front, and another save by Farmer. That's Newfield Kreider passing it up to Gustafson. Gustafson falls down, no trip and call on the play as Brem comes out to pass it to number eight. That's Barona. Barona passes up to the right wing side. Cross ice pass to number 22. That's Wilgen. Wilgen loses the puck there. Gets down this teach out. The freshman. She'll pass it up to Aaron Seward. And that's an offside call by the referee. Aaron Seward's clearly frustrated. That was a good play there uh, by teach out. Heads up play to get that puck up as faceoff will be back in the Lakers zone. A very good look though by teach out to Stewart. Hopefully looking for that saucer stretch pass. But that ref looked pretty closely and was saying that is offsides. There'll be a faceoff in the Lakers zone. Yeah, he'll make a good call there as Amber Thomas winds up for the faceoff here. Against number 21, uh, Miller Johnson. That faceoff goes back into the corner. Here's number 44 against Bailey Thomas. Bailey Thomas makes a good play up to Aaron Stewart on the right side. Here comes Amber Thomas. She'll push it up to Megan Teachout. As Teachout will try and hit the line here. She doesn't get it deep, loses the puck. It goes back to. Avery Webster as the puck comes into the bench. Good play by McCallan on the bench to catch that. So we got 14-28 left in this first period. It's been all Nazar so far, Thomas. As of right now, yes, but hopefully the Oswego State Lakers will generate some offense. That top line has shifted around. Amber Thomas now back on that first line with Stewart and Teach out. They're against that third line for Nazar. They go cross side to Darby. Darby will enter the zone. Loses the edger on the blue line, and she'll keep the puck as here comes Stewart. Stewart passes to Teach out. The leading scorer for the Lakers as she'll get the puck deep. That'll be on now for their first shot of the game. Six to one shots on goal for the Golden Flyers as Darby passes up to number seven. It is cut off by Shine. Shines will get the puck deep. Grugan on the four check. She'll try to win the race there. Doesn't win that one, but Rose sets up on the up far side. The captain for the Flyers. Puck is lost, picked up by number three. And she'll get that deep, that's DeCarlis. She'll get a change here. So there's Bailey Thomas back. She'll go D to D behind the net. Over to Webster. Webster will get a pocket pick by number 10. Nichols made a great play there. She tried to cut towards the net. But she'll keep the, that's number 18. That's Luth, goal scorer so far in this one. As Redders helps her out in the corner. Goes out towards the front. Grugan does a good job there. Keeping that puck out of the slot area. And she'll get the puck deep. Looking for an icing call here as number eight will touch up here. So that's an icing call here with 13, 18 left in the game, Thomas. What are you noticing right now? The second line for Nazareth with Redders, Luth, and Nichols is truly 
outworking the Lakers right now, and it's shown in the shot chart as well. Six to one, one nothing now, but as Farmer stays consistent, it will remain not one nothing as well. Yeah, right now we got the second line. Syracuse is gonna line up against Luke. Both sophomores line up. Syracuse hasn't been in the uh, for Lakers the whole season. She was injured coming into the season, but she's been a big add. Uh, as you know, Galeo is not in the game. She was not on the roster for Oswego, so that that's definitely a heartbreaker there as they lose another player halfway through the season here. That's gonna be huge. As we mentioned, they did play last year in Skinny Atlas. Gilio was actually the only Laker to score that game, and it was assisted by Webster and Stewart, so two current Lakers from a former Laker who scored the goal first, so it should be interesting how the offense goes today. We got a strum over near the Oswego bench. Luth will take that puck out as it goes back to Bailey Thomas. Bailey Thomas making a play. She's looking cross side from McCown. McCown can't get there. Shines, battles for that one in the neutral zone, gets it over to number four. She'll get that puck almost into the zone, but Bailey Thomas did a great job there of keeping it, making sure it won't go all the way. It's McCown all over the defender, Barona. Barona gets taken down as Nazareth will come away with the puck here. Try for a neutral zone pass there. There's Molly Evans, she'll get the puck deep as the Lakers will go back on the fourth check here. Brown comes out of the net, Verona picks up the puck. McCown goes down, the puck's on the left side here. Coming up, and that's number 23. Uh, Cromer on the first line center, she's trying to get that puck out, goes back behind the Golden Flyers net here. This Lakers line is truly being a factor. This fourth line with Morissette, McCown, and McAleer is out working this first line right now, keeping in the zone for a little under a minute as of right now, and a great offensive shift by the Lakers so far. Yeah, Byrne tried to get a shot opportunity. Uh, they've really been all over this Nazareth uh, <laughs> defense, excuse me, at the fourth line as Nazareth finally gets the puck out. Look for an icing call here as Nazareth tries to get one past the referees with the line change, but they that won't do. It's 11:43 left to go in this first period. We saw Oswego get some get some time in the offense zone. Their forecheck was really doing well. That's what you like to see almost halfway through this first period, Thomas. Yeah, that's absolutely right. If you're Diane Dillon or Mark Digby, that's a great shift by that fourth line, keeping it in the zone there for a solid minute. Yeah, now that sets up a good icing call. Oswego line up. Convoy wins the faceoff. She passes back over to Rondazzo. Rondazzo looks for a shot. She'll send it on. It gets blocked in front of the net there. Back to Rondazzo at the point. They'll swap with Tegger. Tegger. Another shot on as Brem will make a glove save here. And that'll get the Nazareth Golden Flyers a line change here with 11.30. Brem did a great save there. There was not a lot of net presence for the Lakers, which could be a huge contributor today as their win in Morrisville just a few days ago had a lot of net presence there in that third period to give them that win. Yep. As Oswego will get a shot on goal here. That's a Newfield Kreider. She'll get a shot right off the faceoff. Like I said, you said that the point opportunities coming in, like Rendaz are getting shot opportunities there. If you get traffic in front of the net, then Brem can't see that. That's a good shot opportunity. As um, Conway will win another faceoff. She's been strong in the center position for us. We go, let's go back to Tegger on the right side. She'll dump the puck down low. That's Neilfield Kreider. She'll have the puck behind the net. Conway is there too. She's hemmed in by number 98. That's Colbert. It's just scrum on the right side. They'll get the puck out. They'll go back to Tegger in the neutral zone. She looks for a regroup. She'll send it on the right side over to Gustafson. As Tegger gets the puck back in her new zone. She'll make a move on Golden Flyers defender and look for Neufeld Kreider on the icing call. And that will be an ice, a missed pass there. Uh, as Tegger made a great move uh, in her own zone to get that opportunity on the pass, just a little off there. A little off on the pass, but it'll be a face off in the Lakers zone either way. This line can't get changed, but they're hoping to look for a quick change in this quick yes. drop of the puck. Yes, yeah, Luke will come back. She'll take the face off offense convoy. That's her second center for the Nazareth Golden Flyers. They line up here. And it looks like it go back to Oswego. Tagger gets control on the sideboards. Up to Con Newfield Kreider. There'll be a missed pass by Rose. So that puck goes all the way down towards Brem here. Lakers will get a line change. The puck goes behind the Nathrets Golden Flyers net. Here comes a breakout for Nathrets. If that's Morissette, she'll pressure them, get it back to Rondazzo. Back up to Morissette and McCown. She'll swing at it, swing and a miss there. As Nathrets will come back here. Here's Luth. Luth taking it down the left side. Two on one. She's got net shot blocked by Bailey Thomas there. That's a good play there as McCown will hem over. She'll fall down on Rose. And it looks like we'll have a high sticking call. Four, it looks like Kate Rondazzo 
will be going to the box there is that's a high stick and call and it looks like Nats Golden Flyers will go on the power play or no excuse me never mind Ryan Dowds is not going to the box so we don't know oh it's just a high stick my my apologies Thomas my apologies I thought that was a penalty there excuse me it's the line back up for the face off Thomas will win that back to Avery Webster Aaron Sue will pick up the puck she'll tap that as she gets a puck teach out on the cross Brem comes out of the net there makes a play on teach out up to the left side Teach out has got some speed to her right now. She was she played terrific against Morrisville a few days ago, getting that game winner in the third period. But this first line is definitely needs to connect for the Lakers today. Yeah, Teach out's definitely one of the fastest for Oswego. There's an icing call for the Lakers. Looks like Aaron Stewart will beat the call there. That's a good hustle by her. Teach out on the right side. She'll throw it out to the middle. No one there. That doesn't connect. Thomas up against here comes number three. Here comes Decrease on the left side. Throw it across to number seven, get the puck deep, and Nads will go for a line change. Avery Webster here with the puck in the right side. She tries to throw it up to Cruz. Cruz misses that one. Teach out comes across as Nads did a good job. Here comes a three on two break. It's a shot opportunity, and that'll go wide. Ray misses that one once again. She got a good op shot opportunity earlier in the game. A Teach out needs to get off the ice here. She's stuck on the ice. Here comes Ray again. Ray gets a shot opportunity off the post. And that's a, once again, Ray's getting good, good quality opportunities for the Golden Flyers. That might have hit the crossbar there, Zach, but what a great shot by Nazareth there. Almost making it 2 nothing a little over midway through this first period. You saw it. Carly got a shot opportunity again. That went wide as they're working this puck down low in the Oswego defensive zone. Uh, Cruz tried to throw it across. Here comes Teach out. She'll make a move and get the puck out, and she looks like she's gonna go on a two-on-one break. Makes a move around the defender and gets tied up, and looks like Oswego's gonna go on the power play here for a hooking call against Teachout. Teachout did a great job, extended her shift there a little too long, but she did a great job getting that call there. What great, go on the power definitely play, a great job by Teachout there. She kept extending her stride and kept getting faster. Nazareth had no answer to it, only to draw a penalty, and the Lakers will go on the power play, which has struggled this season, but there's always an opportunity. Yeah, 19.3% on the power play for 83 opportunities, 16 goals on the power play. As this first power play unit will set up, Thomas comes in for the faceoff. She'll lose that one as Rose and Stewart battle behind the net. Aaron Stewart take out Rose here. There's another delayed penalty. Brem comes out to ice. Here comes number seven. Then Sam, she has the puck here. She'll throw it across over to Rose as Teach, or Tegger, excuse me, will tag up as Stewart will go to the box. That was a short-lived power play, but we'll have some four and four hockey here. Very, only 17 seconds into the power play, and it's gonna be for body contact here as we'll see some four on four hockey for a little over a minute and a half. So this should be some interesting, a lot more ice to work with for both teams. Yeah, we'll see as we see Shines and Grugan out there on the forward position for the four on fours. Randazzo will get the puck off the faceoff. She is taken down by number 18, Luke. Luke and Randazzo still battling as Randazzo will not get up yet and there will be a whistle blown. And they're gonna redo that faceoff here with eight minutes left in the first period. Not a lot of shot opportunities for the Lakers but Nazareth really hasn't gotten a shot yet in a couple minutes. Nazareth has not had some opportunities as of recently. At the beginning of the first, it was all flyers for sure. But now Oswego started to pick up a little bit and generate some opportunities of their own. Nichols makes a good job as she blocks a pass. Goes up to the point to number 11. She'll get her shot blocked by Shines. That was Demio. Demio didn't get that one as the puck comes out of the zone. Up to Colbert. Colbert does a great job keeping that puck in the delayed offside. It's Kate Randazzo looking for Grugan. Grugan will stay onside there and get a line change. She gets the puck to Shines. Goes after Colbert. She'll take out Colbert, but Colbert will still get the puck up. Here comes Luke down the left side. It's a three on two opportunity. She's going to wind up. Passes over. Read in front. This puck's so loose. That's a good save there. Bias. Right, here comes Cruz on the left side. She's got Teach out on the right. Two on one break. Looking, she'll take the shot opportunity. And there'll be a save by Brem. The four on four opportunities here. As Lakers got a good shot opportunity on the two on one. As Naps will get the puck deep. 
Some Webster. great hockey here in between. As we saw one stop at one end by Farmer, resulted in a two on one the other way, and definitely a great opportunity for both teams. Brem with a huge stop on Shines on the other end, and Farmer with a great pad save there too. Yep, as the penalty is about to expire for an so they'll go on the power play. Webster does a nifty move in her own zone. She'll get the puck down the right side up and Anka Newfield Kreider. She'll fall down and she'll do a great job getting the puck down on her knees. So now, the short-lived power play for Nazareth as there's seven seconds left. Here comes number 19, this is Readers. Readers gets around, Newfield Kreider comes down on Burn. Readers does a good job there as Burn keeps that puck out. And now we're back to even strength. Bessepin takes a slap shot up to Thomas. Here's Thomas, one-on-one -on -one with the defender. She'll get around her. She just gets taken out by Three Nazareth defenders could back check there as the puck goes behind Brem. As McCowan takes a fall there in the neutral zone. Nazareth look at that puck deep, get a line change. Holly Evans battles with uh, Stralin as we have a whistle for another high stick. So the puck will come back into the Lakers zone with 542 left in the period. Shot totals right now eight to four in favor of Nazareth. So both teams are getting some quality opportunities, but uh, that two-on-one rush is probably the best chance Lakers have had so far. Definitely one of the best opportunities. One-on-one, Teachout was being covered by the defenseman, and the goalie saw that coming and took the shot, made a save, and it'll still remain one nothing Nazareth. Strahlin tries to put a shot on Farmer. That'll go wide. So here comes Molly Evans. She'll try to pass it up to McCown. It goes past McCown in a race with Rose. Rose will beat her there. So we have another icing call. Oswego really needs to pick up that uh, accuracy on their, on their passing. They're doing a great job of finally breaking down. Uh, here's a replay. Uh, looks like, again, their helmet's on there. So uh, we won't have that replay for you, but we appreciate everything. As here we get set for another faceoff. Morissette comes in on the icing call. She'll win that one back to Molly Evans. She'll throw it behind the Farmer, up to Fern. To Mikulir, that'll come out to McCowan. McCowan tries to make cross ice to Morissette. She'll barely miss that one. She'll throw that back to Molly Evans. Molly Evans pulls it cross ice back to McCowan. McCowan will get that puck deep to Rose. Rose takes a puck there on number 22. She'll pass it up. Mikulir with a strong four check as the puck's just bouncing around in the neutral zone. Number 25 will come away with that. That's the extra forward Ruben. And they'll get the puck deep. And we'll have an offsides call from the referee once again. As though both teams will get a line change here. Looks like the second line of Shines and Cruz coming out here with Grugan. Uh, we'll get set here with 4.56 left in the period, Thomas. It is definitely going to be an interesting one. But as we look at this Nazareth, Nazareth squad, their head coach, Chris Votto, his, this is the second year of this program, and he won the coach of the year his first year. Inaugural campaign with 19 wins, and they were second in the United Collegiate Hockey Conference. Quite impressive for a first year program. Yeah, they did a great job getting this program off the ground running. It's like, so we'll get the puck out. Excuse me. Let's take it. We'll get the puck. She'll go cross ice to Rondazzo. Rondazzo will try to get Rugen. Ru will get a stick on it, so there'll be no icing call there. She races in uh, into the corner there. Puck will come out. The Kate Rondazzo keeping the puck in for the Lakers. She'll give it to Rugen. It's a shot on goal. That'll go wide as Shines gets the puck on the right side. She'll throw it on net. That will get blocked too by Nather defenders. They try to get the puck out of here. Tagger keeps that one, puts it on goal, and Brem will hold this one with 4 13 left in the first period. Tagger's got a solid shot on her, and she used it there with an easy pad stop there by Brem. But the great thing that the Flyers are doing right now is they're pushing all the traffic and the net presence to the outside. Easy for Brem to track the puck and makes an easy stop for her team there. Yeah, that defense is doing a great job as Amber Thomas will win the faceoff. Over to Kate right now is at the point. She gets battled good by number 10, uh, Nichols. And Nichols does a great job. They keep the puck in though, and Kate right now will get a shot on goal. No traffic in that for the Lakers, so that's an easy glove save by Brem once again, as uh, the Lakers are getting some offense here with this first line out with Tagger and Randazzo. They are getting some offensive looks here as they'll change the D with Byrne and Evans coming out. I'm sorry, Byrne and Thomas coming out now for the Lakers. And so we'll get, here comes T.J. with a shot opportunity. That goes wide off the outside of the net as Stewart sets up. She'll cycle it down to Thomas. Thomas with the puck down low. She is battling with number 18, Luth. Luth does a great job as the puck's still low. 
looks like she's tripped up. Stewart gets tripped up by Luth, but Puck will stay in. We'll continue to play Thomas. Battles. Here comes Luth down the left side. She gets around Tom. She'll get the puck deep, and she'll go for a line change here. Excuse me. She'll stay on as the rest of her teammates go for a line change. Now up to Teachout. Teachout gets hemmed in by number three. De decrease. Decrease. Does a great job. Here, Teachout again. Two on two opportunity. She'll take a shot. She was looking top left. That will go over the net. So that was a good shot opportunity from the freshman from Skinny Atlas. A great hard shot there by Teachout. She was looking for upstairs on that top left blocker side there, but she finds nothing as she hits glass. You saw another shot opportunity from Teachout with Aaron Stewart in front of the net there. Nothing went there as Lakers will go for a change. And we get that third line out here as the puck goes down deep too. Number seven, number seven. Strahlin will get it over and up for that's what, as Evans gets the puck over to Gustafson on the, on the right side. She'll get tripped up. Excuse me, that was just an offside call. Neufa Kreider will beat the puck down for the icing call. She does a great job hustling down for that one. As Gustafson will keep the fourth check alive, and the puck will pop out to Evans in the neutral zone. She looks, she curls, she looks. She's gonna try to make a move on number 22. Here comes Wiljen. Wiljen on a two on one, she'll move it across. That's a big save by Farmer. It looks like Oswego will be going to the box. Here's another shot opportunity. And here we go. We're going back to the box here with a hooking call on Newfield Crider here, Thomas. This is going to be an interesting one here. The Lakers, their special teams has struggled recently. Their penalty kill, 84.2% successful. That's pretty effective. But let's see how it works if this top line comes out for Nazareth. It's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, it looks like they're going to throw out the Wolgin will come in for the faceoff, and she'll win that one back to the point. They'll set up on the point here. That's number nine over to the right side to Rose. Nine with a shot opportunity. That's blocked by Mickler there. Great job as Puck goes into the corner. Here's Wolgin set up on the left side. She'll move it up to the top to number nine. Krubus, Krubus moves it over. Tegat does a great job blocking that one as the puck will sail down the ice. And that'll kill some time off the Brem. We'll have to hold that one as Mickelier did a great job hustling down there. Now you got 135 left on the faceoff. You saw you saw the Gaffer Golden Flyers shift into a diamond there, or excuse me, an umbrella. And if you're on Oswego, you want to play that diamond. That is, you want to play that diamond. If the umbrella is gonna be the power play that Nazareth is running, the diamond is definitely most effective for a penalty kill. As Thomas will win it back to Bailey Thomas, she'll get that puck down deep as Thomas. Once again, on the four check for the PK unit. And here comes Cubis. Cubis moves it up to number 13. Thompson, Thompson takes it down the right side. She'll go around one and two defenders. As Thomas does a great job. And then Cubis takes down Burn. Burn looks a little shoken up. But the puck will go out once again for the Lakers as Brem will come out to make sure that puck is settled down for her defender there. Cubis holds it behind the net. She's got a here comes one of the Flyers. She'll take the puck as Mickelier does a great job holding that down there on the four check. And Luth will get the puck out. She moves it over up to the left side as that puck gets dumped in by number 21. Miller Johnson earned it, or Aaron Stewart did a great job getting that puck. They'll set up up top. Shot goes on net. They'll go wide. As Teachout gets the puck once again, she'll try to clear it past Rose. Rose doesn't get to it in time, but keeps it. Here comes Aaron Stewart. She'll pickpocket Rose here on the left side. She'll throw it out to the middle, and she'll get that taken away from Rose. She did a great job getting back there. Ron Dasso picks up the puck in the neutral zone. She'll try to make a move around, around readers. Writers, excuse me, as it goes back up to Lou. Tiger tried to pick the pocket. That one up, that didn't work. As Ron Dasso will go back for the Lakers. Five seconds left in the penalty kill as they successfully kill this one up. Teach out down the right side. She's trying to make a move. Once again, she'll get the puck around number 11 and number seven. She's double teamed there on the rush. And they'll try to get the puck out once again up to number three. Here comes Decrease. Taggart will get that one from her and she'll move it to the right side. Taggart taking it on number 11. And that is the period. End of the first period. Nazareth up as one. Zero over the Oswego State Lakers. Thomas, what did you see there in the first period? A lot of back and forth action after the first few minutes. Nazareth put two of them in those first few minutes, but after that, shots evened up, opportunities evened up. A lot of special team action here in the first period with lots of penalties that was taken here by both teams, actually, Nazareth as well as Oswego. 
Yep, and now we'll get set up shots on goal, nine to eight, so Oswego eventually did come back there. Both power play opportunities are uh, zero as uh, both teams did not capitalize on those power plays they got as we're looking forward uh, to the second period here. You saw faceoffs are almost even as Nazareth is down 12 to 10 to Oswego. And what are, what are you saying going forward into the second period here? In this second period, Oswego's got to come out strong. They can't come out the way they did in the first period. Once again, those first five minutes were critical. They put Nazareth out there and Nazareth put a goal on them. And it was quite simple. They take the lead and they take the lead going into the second. Yeah, Farmer made some great saves there for the Lakers as that, that real change in the momentum really came from that fourth line on the four check uh, from Morissette, McAleer, and McCown. But if you stay out of the box here for the Lakers, you get some shot opportunities from like T. Chow, Thomas, Aaron Stewart. If you get those shot opportunities from that first line, second line, they'll get quality opportunities on burn as you see some replays here. Uh, but once again, Thomas, we're, we're looking forward to a, a, a good second third period moving forward. It really looks back and forth here as of right now. Oswego's got to stay out of the box. And uh, we'll be back for the second period as a period summary will come up here on the board. Uh, you'll see the Lakers with nine or eight shots and Nazareth with nine. Uh, but moving forward, Thomas, we're, we'll be back here for the second period. Uh, as there's the game or game summary graphic as at the end of the first period, 11 face off to 10, power play 0 0. And we'll be back here for the second period. I'm Zach Case, and you're watching on WTOP 10. Welcome back to the Murano Campus Center. I am Zach Case alongside Thomas Trujan, and we are here for the intermission report between the first and second period between the Lakers and the Nazareth Golden Flyers. Right now, Nazareth's in the lead 1-0. What's your overall thoughts so far in the first period, Thomas? A little slow start for the Lakers, but they started to pick up things once it went midway through the first period. But it should be an interesting one here in the second as Lakers gained a little bit of momentum at the end of the period with some offensive chances. Yeah, they definitely came back after that slow start you talked about. But let's go into that slow start. You, if you're Oswego, of course, you're the home team. You're you're prepped. You're coming off. But Nets was coming off that hour 30 road trip from Rochester. And they usually have bus legs on a road trip, you know. But they came out here and they had a good start to their period. 
They have, that they did. They didn't have those bus legs that everyone talks about. They came out and they actually got a goal fairly early here in the first as they took that lead in the, all the way to the end of the period. Yeah, Thomas, walk us into that goal scored uh, by Abby Luth, of course. She's leading uh, the Nats Golden Flyers. Here's your replay, Thomas. Yes, we'll see here as it was a little bit of a fumbled bounce, but it was that first line that connected that we were talking about, second line, excuse me, between Redders and Nichols and Luth, and they have been absolutely dangerous at the beginning, but they shut them down later in that period. Yeah, those two were definitely uh, two to watch coming into this game as they lead uh, the team in points back to back. Well, now let's go to back to Oswego here. Uh, you had that first line of Thomas, Stewart, and teach out, of course, and they, they've been a, a key factor to many games over the course of this season. How are they gonna contribute moving forward in this game? If they're gonna contribute, they gotta shut down that top line first, and then if they're matched out against any other line from Nazareth, they gotta start looking to put that puck deep in the back of the net for them. I mean, Nazareth, they are, they're a tough team to play against, but they can't let up against any other line. Yeah, definitely they're gonna have to start to capitalize here, Thomas. Let's go into the period summary. Uh, you saw Lakers, we talked about the shot opportunities. Uh, here you come nine to eight uh, in favor uh, of Nazareth uh, power plays though. 0 for two for Nazareth and then 0 for one for the Lakers. Wh what do you need to do on the special teams there? For the special teams, the Lakers got to stay out of the box. They took two penalties and quite frankly, they, they didn't have to be penalties if they actually took a few strides more. But it should be an interesting one here as it's going to go here in the second period of play between Nazareth and Oswego. Yeah, both teams return back to the ice. If you're Mark Digby for the uh, Oswego State Lakers, what are you telling your team going into the next 20 minutes of play here? For Mark Digby and Diane Dillon, it's most definitely going to be involved with the special teams and the offensive production, as well as the defensive structure. They have kept their defense pretty solid after that first goal that they scored for Nazareth. But it should be an interesting one. And then, Thomas, if you're Chris Botto, and you're, of course, his only second season of coaching, what are you telling this Nazareth team as they get set for the faceoff here? You know, Chris Botto, it may be his second season, but he's definitely made a name for himself. 34-7-5 at Nazareth, as well as his career in college hockey. And they have done pretty solidly here in their first two seasons as a program. Of course, so, Thomas, as we get set for the faceoff, Oswego in the white, going right to left. And now that's in the purple as we get set here. Mia Conboy will line up against that other third line as Nazareth will win the faceoff back to the defenders. And then as we go up to number three, they'll get the puck in deep. That's Darby all over and can for cry. Puck will come out towards the faceoff circle. Tiger will miss that one. Number three, that's Decrease. She'll get the puck on the right side down to Darby down low. She'll hold the puck down in the corner, work around. Kate Randazzo and Tagers, both the defenders in that one corner. They'll get the puck out up to Anka Newfield Kreider. Now, back into the neutral zone. That's Rose. She'll make a great play cross ice to Darby. Darby will skate onto that into the zone, but Tagger will win that race to the puck there. She'll move it cross over to Anka Newfield Kreider. She'll move that up to Gustafin, up to Mia Combo. She'll get that puck deep, and the Lakers will get a line change here. 19 11 back in the first period, or in the second period, excuse me. That cross ice pass broken up by Thomas. She'll get around one defender and move into the right corner and she'll control that puck for the Lakers. She'll lose it to number nine, Krubus. As Krubus will get around, teach out up the left wing, right wing wall as Darby and Stewart will battle there. Thomas will retain the puck for Th Thomas will move it back over. Is that broken up by Redders? Redders will get the puck stripped from her from Webster. As Webster does a great defensive play there, keeping that puck out in front of Lakers. Here's Luth, Luth will take a shot opportunity, goes right over top of Farmer. So that's the, almost the first shot opportunity for the Flyers as Teach will try to win the faceoff or win the icing call. It's her and Luth will go, Ruse will go pretty into the boards there. As here comes Luth. Luth will tip it up to number 22. Uh, will Jen, will Jen lose the puck there in the neutral zone? She'll retain it back on the right side. She'll get the puck deep past Byrne and Evans. Evans will chain the puck from behind the net from Farmer. As she is attacked by two Golden Flyers. Up to Amber Thomas on the right. left wing wall. Up to Teachout. Teachout will try to get around the defender. She can't. The puck will stay in the neutral zone. Here comes the Golden Flyers back. As Stewart is all over Ray. Ray loses the puck there. And the puck goes back behind the net. Molly Evans makes a good play. We got a tripping call coming up. 
as the Golden Flyers will go back to the penalty kill. We're going to send it down to our man behind the glass, Nate Bruce. Thanks, guys. The Lakers have themselves quite the challenge this afternoon after they come out for a blazing hot Golden Flyers team. They scored early, but they've done a really good job being able to weather this storm and get themselves their own opportunities in the offensive zone. And they go on the power play, hope they can capitalize. Back to you guys. Thank you, Nate, as Oswego's back on the power play here as Bailey Thomas will come get the puck in the corner. She'll move it up to Avery Webster, who sets up that breakout over to Shines. This second power play unit out for the Lakers right now. They haven't really got set up in the zone yet, uh, but it's early on in this power play. Grugan will handle it in the neutral zone. She'll make a move around number 25. That's Ruben, the extra forward. Move it over to Shines. And Shine will get it in. Here comes Grugan to one opportunity. She takes a shot right at Brem, and they'll go right into the middle of Brem. Brem will make a good save here on the power play with 17 15 left in the second period, Thomas. A great save by Brem there on Grugan. Came out, faced the shooter on top of her angles, that's for sure. An easy save there, but Suigo gave him some offensive opportunities here on the power play early, so that's good as well. Thomas will line up against Luke. She'll win that back. Aaron Seward gets a shot opportunity from the lower face-off dot. And that's a save once again for Brent. Brent's really doing a great job here for the Golden Flyers as Oswego is starting to get more quality opportunities on this power play. Thomas lines up back again with Luke. She'll win that back into the corner. As Aaron Stewart almost gets called for a tripping there as Teachout will pick up the puck there. Behind the net, she'll move it over to Thomas. Up top to Taggart. Taggart at the top, over to Rondazzo. Rondazzo's looking for a shot. She'll move it down to Teachout on the left wing wall. Over to Taggart. Up to, up to Rondazzo, she'll take a shot opportunity as that one gets blocked by Haley Breeders. Back up to Rondazzo. Rondazzo will look for a shot opportunity again. Off the left pen. Head, as that's a blocked by the defender there. Back up top to Rondazzo. Looks for Teachout. out Teach out on the left side. She takes a shot opportunity. That puck goes in the back of the net. No goal for the referee. It's a puck zone. And the puck goes in. And that's a goal for the Oswego State Lakers. It's a 1-1 hockey game with 16-31 left in the second period. And the power play connects here. And most definitely a great time for the Lakers to do it. What a momentum change here. They kept it in the zone the entire time during that power play. A few odd bounces and a scrap in front of the net creates a 1-1 hockey game early here in the second period. And it looks like Teachout will get credit with the goal as she'll get her 11th goal of the game. Here's your replay. You see the scrum and net. And that puck's just laying around. As we see a lot like of bodies out in front, that's for sure. At that least was about three gold flyers and two Lakers. The refs are talking over there to Chris Bono about it. Not sure what about, but. We'll see who they give the goal to, Thomas, but Aaron Stewart was in there, and of course, Ticho with the original shot opportunity. So it's 1-1, and we're all tied up here with 16-31 left in the period. As here comes the Golden Flyers back. Byrne will pick up the puck in her defensive zone in the corner. She'll whiff on one and then regain the puck again up to Gustafson. Good breakout here for the Convoy. Over to Neil Cry on the left side. Two on two break. She'll take it wide, as she'll uh, lose the puck battle in the corner up to Darby. Darby moves it up to number seven, that's Van Strahlen. She'll bring it down the left-hand side. She's got Rose going to the net. That's Farmer with a big save right into the pocket of her uh, body there. She'll make a save there as uh, the shot opportunities are going back and forth for both teams here, Thomas. Most definitely back and forth. Farmer with an easy save right in the crest of her jersey. And it should be definitely a great period to follow here in the second. It looks like Coach Fernandez still isn't happy with the referee here, so he'll go back. Bado will go. She's he's arguing with the referees. Uh, Naz will get a line change here, and they'll line back up for a faceoff. That's Morissette. She's lining up against. It looks like number 22. That's Wilgen, the right winger. She came in to relieve that center. There. Rose takes a shot opportunity off of Megan McCown's stick. That'll go up in the air behind the net for Farmers. Teach out is. Given the goal, so that's her 11th goal of the game, or of the season, excuse me, as the puck is still hemmed in. Rose does a great job keeping that puck in for Nazareth. Sitting on the line there, still scrum on the right wing wall. Molly Evans will come away with the puck. She'll throw it cross ice to McCown. McCown skates up the left wing wall. She'll get the puck deep as Morissette will go ahead and forecheck this one against Wilgen. Wilgen does a great job getting the puck up to number 23. 
Emily Cromer. Cromer coming down the left wing now against Webster. She'll make a move around Webster. Coming on the shot. Thomas with a big save there. That's Bailey Thomas with a shot block uh, for Farmer. As now she'll get the puck behind the net over to Morissette. Morissette has plenty of time on the left wing. She'll throw it up as that will get picked off by number 20. That's Daily Carr's. The puck will get by her though and will go back into the nether zone. They'll win the puck around the boards there. So will go over on the right side. And that's Grugan. Grugan with a big hit as she tried to get the shot off. She blocked that one. As here comes number 18, Luke. Luke with a puck. She'll take it on the right side. Drop it off to number 20. She gets a shot opportunity. Goes off Webster and goes wide. Another block opportunity from the Lakers as this puck's on the right side here. Now we'll go up to Shines. Shines on the right side. She's going to try to drop it off to Grugan, but she'll get pushed off into the boards there. Grugan will lose the puck as here comes number 20 once again. That's Carr. She'll get pressured there by the Lakers as Teach out, and now Luke will battle with it on the right wing. He'll go into the corner in the Oswego alone. Webster will dump it back off to Cruz. Cruz picks up the puck. Plenty of time. There's no pressure as the Flyers go for a line change. Puck will come really close to the bench there as they did a great job making sure there weren't too many men call as Webster will get the puck in she'll dump it in off of Bren as that was an awkward shot Kohlberg will pick back up the puck she'll bring it off the boards to number 44 that's Rice Rice with the puck again she'll get the puck deep will try to at least and then they'll get picked off by Rondazzo Rondazzo back up the left wing wall she's pressured and that she'll get that puck deep as Bren will come out and, and play it as Aaron Stewart gets back into the zone. That's Teach out. That's first line out there for the Lakers as Thomas pressures them. Nathers comes up with the puck and up to Rice. Rice on the left wing wall tries to go around Tager. Tager does a great job there making sure that puck doesn't go around her as Teach out comes up with the puck over to Thomas. Thomas moves it back to Teach out. Teach out on the right side trying to make a play around the defender. Rose does a great job of dropping that off as here comes number seven, Stroud. Ben Stroud passes it into the middle, looking for number three, that's decreased. But Darby does a great job picking up that puck off the bench. Up to Stroud, she'll take a shot. It looks like it went off uh, either a Nazareth player or a defender there. There's, ooh, there's big collision there at the point there between Rose and Teachout. Teachout will come off and Rose will keep the puck in for the Golden Flyers. So there's a scrum on the right wing boards. And the puck's staying there. It's not moving at all with 12.49 left in the period. As finally the puck will come loose, Kate, Kate Randazzo with the puck, but she's pressured by number seven, Van Strahlen. She'll go for a line change as the puck gets deep here. Byrne comes away with the puck, and she'll try to move it up into the neutral zone there on the right wing. She'll try to get that deep, she will. As there's Neufeld Kreider, will take the puck into the corner. She's pressured by the Golden Flyers defender. As now, number 26, Rose, will get it up to 22. As shots this period, six to one, Thomas in favor for Oswego. That's a big change from this first period. That is most definitely a huge change for the Lakers. So, one thing I noticed this period, their forecheck is a lot more aggressive than it was in the first period. Their speed has definitely came into factor with that. As here comes Combo, she'll get the puck in her own zone. She'll try to drop it off, but Golden Fire takes that one. As that's Wilgen. Wilgen tries to make a good play, but. Newfield Cryer will get that puck out. She tries to look for a line shape. Gustafin pressures number 20. As they'll get that puck down deep, Molly Evans does a great job. Make sure that doesn't go all the way to the corner. She'll relieve that puck. The puck comes out into the middle of the slot. Convoy picks it up, and she'll bump it off the boards into the neutral zone. She gets a line change here. Number 20, Carl. Here comes number 23. That's Cromer. Cromer tries to get around. Bailey Thomas, Bailey Thomas does a great job. She sits behind the net. She'll move it up to Newfield Cryer. She's got two Lakers in the middle. She'll bump it off the boards to Morissette. Is that number 19? That's Haley Reeder. She did a great job there, making sure the Lakers didn't get any attack. As now they got a break back on the opposite direction. McCown does a great job intercepting that drop pass there. As it goes over to Avery Webster. Avery Webster sets up. She looks for Morissette. Morissette up to McCown. McCown misses that one, but it goes back up to Nichols, Nichols tries to go around Webster. Webster did a great job keeping that puck into the corner here with 10.54 as we're almost halfway into this second period. And this fourth line here for Oswego consisting of McCown, Morse, and McAleer has been pretty much mashed up against this top offensive line for Nazareth consisting of Redders, Luth, and Nichols. And as of right now, they're doing a pretty solid job shutting them down. And it's been a great job for that fourth line for the Lakers. 
And now we get the puck back. That goes out into the Oswego bench as we'll get a line change here for both teams. 10.34 left in the second period as the puck will go back into the Oswego horn for a faceoff. It looks like that. Oh, here comes the first line out. Teach out Thomas and Stewart. They've been great this season for the Lakers as they'll line up against this fourth line of Miller. Johnson is still lined up for the faceoff here. Tegger gets the puck for the Lakers. Over to Kate Randazzo behind the net. She'll have time to skate with it. She moves it up to Aaron Stewart. Run cross ice to Teach out. And then back to Randazzo. Over to Tegger. Tegger will get the line and she'll dump that in. Thomas goes in on number 98, Colbert. Colbert and Thomas going uh, into the boards together. As Kate Randazzo does a great job keeping that puck down low as that puck goes behind the goal line. Up to Rice. Rice on the on the right wing. She'll move it up to number 13. As there's Thompson as Kate Randazzo will win that faceoff call. We're gonna send it back down to Nate Bruce uh, on a ringside reporter with 10 minutes left to go. We go on that period. power play and that being able to tie this game up one to one. You can really feel the momentum starting to shift here as the Oswego Lakers are now out shooting the Nazareth Golden Flyers 14 to 10. This is gonna be quite the filler, guys. Back to you. Gets, we get set for the faceoff here. Bur win by the Lakers. Look at a shot opportunity on Brem. Brugan tries to throw it back out front. She'll throw it out again as she works behind the net. Sarah Cruz pressures as Golden Flyers will come over the front there, but they're hemmed in the zone from Cruz and Brugan. She has shines wide open across ice, but it goes back up to Burn up top. Burn takes a shot opportunity. Brem didn't really see that one, but that will go off the outside of the netting there as the puck comes out to Molly Evans up front. Molly will come back all the way into the Lakers zone as she missed that clear there as it comes back up to Convoy. Convoy on the left side. She'll bump it up to Newfield Criders. She'll get it into the zone as Rose will take that one for the Golden Flyers. She'll bump it back over to Darby and up to number three, Decrease. Decrease gets it around Bailey Time. She'll get a shot opportunity here. Blocked away by Byrne. Good defensive play there as Gustafson will come in and relieve the pressure there for the Lakers. She'll lose the puck behind the net, but pick it back up again in the right corner. She'll move it up to Newfield Kreider as she looks to get around the Nazareth defender, but it won't go as far as the hash marks there as Darby picks it up for Nazareth. Nazareth tries to get it around to Bailey Thomas. Bailey Thomas keeps it in the zone. It goes over to Newfield Kreider. She tries to throw it on that. That gets blocked by Rose. Here comes the captain for the Golden Flyers. She'll take it up the left side. As she looks, she's all alone here as her teammates go for a line change. She'll take it around the net, throw it on Farmer from the side as Webster will take away with a puck there. She'll lose it briefly for a second as Lakers get the puck out to Rose. Rose will pick it back up for the Golden Flyers. She tries to move it over to number 24. That's Cromer, the first line center for the Lakers, is, or excuse me, Golden Flyers, as she'll get it deep into the zone. The Lakers are definitely getting outplayed as of right now. The Flyers actually putting some work in right now, generating some offensive opportunities and keeping the Lakers zone. Once again, this back and forth play, definitely an exciting one here in the second. Yeah, it's the play. they're just trading opportunities back and forth uh, when it comes to uh, the neutral zone, but Morissette will get the puck in deep off of Brem. Brem will put that in the corners. There's McCrown tries to get a shot opportunity. That's blocked by the defenders. It's, they'll move it up the left wing wall. Bailey Thomas gets pressured by w Willigen. And she'll pick up the puck again, up to number 20. That's, that's, uh, excuse me, that's number 20. That's, uh, that's Dakar, sorry, excuse me. As Mickelier will come away with a puck again on the left side. She'll get that puck to even go out for a line change. As the Flyers will set back up in their corner, that second line of more set. We'll get as here we got a break here. This is Nichols coming in on Farmers. There's a good play there by Tagger getting back and she'll take that pass off into the corners and she'll pick up that puck again. So that was a fast break there. So here comes Luth up to the front of the net. Up to, she'll get a shot opportunity. That'll go wide as Colbert got a good shot opportunity there as the puck still stays in the Oswego zone. Up in front to Stewart, but Stewart will take this puck down the right side. She'll make a move around. Number 11 there, but she can't get it as Demille makes a good play as Luth will pick that puck up again. She moves it across to number 11 as she missed that pass. And that was Demille. Demille will lose the puck and she'll get back as TJ will pick it up on the right side. Lauren Burn pressured as Aaron Stewart will throw this all the way to the left side 
but it won't go for an icing as Shines pressures this defense. They'll make a good play there on the pressure, but Rice will pick it up in the neutral zone. She's got a three on two break. She'll throw it on Farmer. Farmer with a big pad save as Shines now in the corner, moves it up to Cruz. Cruz dumps it out and looks out. Teach out trying to win the race here. Teach out will win. That speed coming from the freshman beats out the icing call as now the Lakers look to set up in their offensive zone. It's definitely been a great shift by this line for Oswego as Teach out will get a change. And Grugan out now for the second line. This young second line consists of two freshmen and sophomore, and they're doing well right now with their speed, and it's working for them for sure. And here comes Grugan. She gets taken now, but she has shines as they can't get an opportunity on that. Back the other way for this third line of the Golden Flyers. Here comes Van Strahlen. She'll get her pocket picked as the puck moves up. As here's Darby. She'll pick it up close to the blue line as Van Strahlen picks up the puck again on the left side. She'll throw it on net. Farmer with a big save. The rebound comes out, but Byrne takes care of that one as she'll send it down. No, well, icing waved off as the defender could have beat that one. That's Brona. Brona will get pressured by Convoy. Convoy, the puck will come out on the left side up to Newfield Kreider as Gustafson fails it. And here comes Darby. She's on Webster here. She'll take it wide. Looks all the way to the cross. It's that shot gets put on net by Decrease. Big save from Farmer on the two-on-two -two opportunities. Here comes Convoy up the right side. She'll dump this puck deep and get a change as Gustafin will come in and pressure the Golden Flyers. So now we got Darby behind her own net. She'll lose it to Gustafin. Almost pops out to Newfield Cryer as Bailey Thomas will get this puck at the top of the zone. It'll pop out to Morissette. Morissette regroups with Avery Webster, and Webster will get this dumped in off Webster. Uh, excuse me, Morris gets sick. So once again, Morissette did a great job of that tap in for the Lakers, the puck goes behind the net for the Golden Flyers. Now Webster tried to get a shot opportunity. She couldn't get it by, and the puck squeaks out into the defensive zone as Tegger will pick up this net behind target. She'll wing it around the boards up on the left side. It's, they'll get around the defender, and here comes Beckler. Beckler on the left side. She'll try to throw it on net, but that is blocked by Colbert. Colbert did a great job there, keeping that puck in the corner as they battle still as it goes back behind the net to Cromer. Cromer moves it up to Wilgen. She'll get the puck deep, and they'll get a line change. That first line going back onto the benches. Here comes the second line for the Golden Flyers. Here comes Rondazzo. She'll make a move around Reamer. And she's taking it herself, and she'll try to take it, throw it on net, but Brand makes a good save. Thomas winds up for a slap shot. That'll go wide is now here comes a break as Teach Out will be back covering for Rondazzo. She'll take the puck in her own zone. She gets pressured. She'll make a good move around three Golden Flyers as she brings bring it back into the zone. But she made a play at the blue line, getting Thomas offside. So 3.14 left in the second period uh, as we finally get a whistle here, Thomas. We do. That's the first whistle in six minutes and 46 seconds. It's been very back and forth. A lot of rotation in the neutral zone. But the Golden Fly is trying to look for a response as they haven't made a lot of zone entries. Gone to Brown center ice and the Lakers just throw it right back in. No, it's really been back and forth hockey as this fourth line comes out for the Golden Flyers, and that's an icing call. And stoppage of play occurs as shots on goals right now, 17 to 13. Oswego, as Oswego's really been taking control of this game so far in this period. But recently, there hasn't really been any good opportunities between either teams. It's kind of back and forth hockey, a lot of dumping. Four checks aren't really working for either, but they'll get set here for the faceoff, Thomas. It's almost like a mirror. I'm looking at both teams in a mirror, and both teams are pushing their offense to the outside and getting those low quality shot opportunities, but looking for a bounce to produce a rebound or a misdirection or a tip, anything that could give them a better opportunity to look for a goal. This first line is lined up against their fourth line for Nazareth as Stewart controls it in the left hand corner. Teachout will pick it up for her. She'll get pressured by Rose as Rose does a great job. The captain there, Teachout still works around. As here's some fans, we got a good group here for a Sunday afternoon game as Aaron Stewart, oh my God, the puck pops out in the middle between Brem. Is that could have been a quality opportunity for the Lakers that that puck trickled right through the crease there. But Aaron Stewart will pick it back up. She'll move it to Thomas in front of the net. That will go wide. And number 25, Ruben, the extra forward, will get the puck out to Rice. Rice with speed coming out. She'll win the battle with Byrne, and she'll stop on a dime in the corner. Looks to throw it out to the middle. 
She's got a pass opportunity to decrease, but that's tipped off of Oswego defender. As now, Grugan tries to get it past. Grugan will get it past on the left wing. She'll tip it up to Shines. Shines has an opportunity on the left side. She'll put on the brakes, look for a pass opportunity as she doesn't have anyone, as now Cruz will get the puck back in the neutral zone. Back to Bailey Thomas, minute 47 here left in the period, as Avery Webster will come up with a puck. She'll move it over to Shines. Shine misses that one, but the puck will go in the corner. Colbert gets the puck for Nazareth. Zip pops out to Grugan. Grugan throws it on net, and that's a Laker goal as Grugan walks out from behind the net. The wraparound finish, and the Lakers in the lead, 2-1. That's gonna be a huge goal for the Lakers here. Second period to play, a minute and a half to go here in the second. One period to go, 2-1 Lakers, Grugan with the shot. And we'll look at the replay here. Oh, I guess not, but what a goal by Grugan. And it'll take, oh, no, we'll see the celebration there. But it's 2-1 Lakers either way, late here in the second period. What a momentum changer here for Oswego. And the second line for the Lakers, Put Oswego on the board as here comes Avery Webster. She'll pick up the puck back to Thomas. Thomas will regroup it up to Gustafin. Over to Chris. That's Rose up the left side. Uh, and she's pressured by Convoy. Gustafin will come in, try to get the puck here with a minute 10 left in the period. As Oswego is doing a great job here controlling this second period here, Thomas. They have definitely dominated this second period, keeping it mostly in the Nazareth zone. As we'll look at the shots here, Oswego with 10 shots compared to Nazareth's four this period as of right now. And it's been a great period to be a Laker, that's for sure. Nazareth is definitely going to have to pick up the pace here coming up in the third. And Bren's been keeping a great job so far as she's really kept in the game, but that one mishap allowed Oswego to get on the board is now moving forward. Uh, they'll win the faceoff. Tegger gets a shot on goal. That doesn't go through all the way to Brem, but Brem could not see that shot opportunity. As there's Gustafin. Gustafin will get hemmed down in the corner. Up to number 10, and Aaron, or that's, excuse me, that's Nichols. She'll move it up to Luth. Luth, Luth gets a shot opportunity on Tegger. Off the left-hand pad, as that's a big save there, as we had number 26, Rose was going in for a, a spot there, and then Tegger, We'll move it up to Neufa Cryer. That flip play up into the neutral zone will get stopped by number nine. That's Krubus. Krubus does a great job of keeping that puck out of her own zone. As now we got a scrum on the left hand where with 14 seconds left. As that puck will go deep into the Nether zone. 10 seconds left. Kohlberg moves it over to Krubus. Krubus it. Keeps it in her corner. She looks at kill time. Three, two, one. And that will end the period for the Lakers. Lakers move ahead here on the scoreboard, two to one. Oswego going into this third period. As now, Thomas, what did you see that came out of that goal there? That was a great goal by Grugin. A great forecheck by the Lakers, as we mentioned. That was huge. Just first, the second period of play, it was a lot more aggressive. Their speed picked up, and that what I believe could have generated those two goals there for the Lakers. And so we're going to wrap it up here in the second period. We'll be back for the third period as we're going to step away here. You're listening to, or watching, excuse me, on WTOP 10. I'm Zach Hayes. This is Thomas Drugin, and we'll be back for the third period here in the Marauders Campus Center. It was just a...
Welcome back to the Murano Campus Center. You're watching women's hockey on WTOP 10. I am Zach Case here with Thomas Turgeon, and we're getting set here for the third period of play between Oswego State Lakers and the Nathers Golden Flyers. We're coming back here 2-1 lead so far for Oswego with two big goals in that second period, That's Thomas. That's right, two huge goals in both not as pretty as you'd think, a lot of grit, a lot of net traffic. That was huge, especially for that second one with that second line, that young second line with Shines, Cruz, and Grugan, which has been pretty solid tonight with a great four check in the second period. Yeah, those top two lines getting on the board for the Lakers. We'll give you the replays of those goals as Megan Teachout takes care of business on the power play. Here comes your replay, Thomas. Yeah, here's the first goal with uh, Megan Teachout. That ended up going in the net. And we'll see here on the second one, hopefully. Yeah, Grugan picked up that puck behind the net, and she got that goal right out in front around Bren. And that's that second goal of the game that gets the Lakers ahead of uh, the Nath Golden Flyers, who in reality came out of the first period. They had a great first period, and then in the second, Oswego really turned it on. Oswego really did turn it on that second period. Their forecheck, everything about their game was faster and more effective. Their shots, more effective. Their speed and forecheck, more effective. They outshot them 11 to five in that second period. So great job by Oswego in that second period for sure. Nazareth needs a huge response here in the third. You really talked about that four check here, but as in reality, both teams, there was, a, there was a part of the game midway through the second period where both teams were going back and forth. And here we'll bring up your period summary. As you see, we talked about 2-1 Oswego, 14 to 19 shots on goal. Power play though, that Megan Tijo goal on the power play, one to two for the power play. You talked about those special teams, Thomas and then face off the court 18 to 16 for Oswego. So Oswego really controlling the game now in that second period. They did, they really controlled the game, but Nazareth, they had the, some bounces of their own, not as much as the period progressed, but they should have to have a huge response here in the third when it comes to offensive firepower. Yeah, but Thomas, let's talk about those missed opportunities from the Nazareth Golden Flyers. They had some chances, a little two-on-one opportunities, some breaks. Uh, but if you're the Golden Flyers, you just need to bear down there, right? And just continue to work hard in that offensive zone. That's right, yeah. Swigo has to stick to their game. The way they've been playing has been red hot. And Nazareth, on the other hand, they need to boost the offensive firepower. That second line that has produced most of their points throughout the season has got to click this period for sure as they look to tie it up here in the third. And then if you look on the other side, we talk about Teach Out, Stewart, and Thomas. That first line for Oswego did a great job getting on the power play goal. But then you talk about that second line. You talked about how young they are, the two freshmen and the sophomore. They did a great job getting that even strength goal. So if you're Oswego here, you definitely want to keep the pressure up. Definitely want to keep going here because it's only a one goal hockey game. That's right. The next goal is going to be critical. Oswego gets it, you get a two goal game. Nazareth gets it, you got back to square one at a tie. So it should be a very important next goal here in the third. And then we're gonna look in the nets here. Brem with 17 saves over the course of those 40 minutes of play. And then Rachel Farmer coming up big with only 13 saves as they've gotten less shot opportunities. But what do you think moving forward, if you're Rachel Farmer, you wanna keep that puck out of the net there? Rachel Farmer, she's been staying on her head for the past few games. Brem, on the other hand, she's been doing the exact same thing. In the UCHC standings, she is fourth in goals against average and fifth in save percentage for goalies in the league. And then we're, as we get set here in the third period, 20 minutes to play here in the Murano Campus Center in the first game of two today from Oswego, New York. Convoy wins the faceoff for the Lakers as we're going back to Laker hockey here in the third period. Taggart will control the puck down in her own zone. Darby will get that deep to number seven there as the puck goes deep into the zone. That's strong. She does a great job as now she's battled off by Randazzo up to Convoy. Convoy on the right, on the right side. She'll move it across the Gressman. That puck is missed there. Back in for the Lake, for, uh, excuse me, for the Golden Flyers is now they'll control the puck once again. Missed pass by Kohlberg. So that puck will go all the way back in behind Brem in that Golden Flyers defensive zone. Kohlberg pressured by Gustafson. Puck will come out to Shine. Shine tries to throw it in that. That's blocked once again by Kohlberg. Kohlberg makes a nice nifty move over Shines as they get the puck up into the Oswego zone. There's number 10. It's Nichols. Shot goes wide there. Up to Teach Out. Up to Stewart. Stewart trying to win the race. And she'll win that icing race there. 
all the way down into the, her offensive zone as the puck gets set back up to Webster up top. She'll throw it deep. That gets uh, blocked there by Demio. Demio moves that puck up to number 19, Readers, who throws it across to Nichols. Nichols on the left side. She's got two defenders as Readers tries to throw it on net, and that will not go as Luth will control the puck on the right side for the Golden Flyers. It comes up to Shine. Shines on a break. She has Teach out and Stewart behind her. She'll make a nifty move into the corner, try to throw it out in front. There's Stewart. Shot opportunity. That's blocked there by Luth. And then another shot opportunity that gets pushed away by Brem as Golden Flyers will come away with a puck here. It's a great starting shift by the Lakers here. This top line, Stewart and Teach out still out there, but now Thomas back out there as well for this top line as well. Yeah, Thomas will join her as Stewart tried to reach across the blue line to stay outside, but she will not. Offsides call for two minutes into this third period. As that second line that we talked about that got that goal comes back out. But we think Thomas is now playing the wing position with them. So a little shake up from uh, Coach Digby here as he changed up the first and second line there. Interesting choice by Digby shifting around the lines here. Thomas playing a wing. She's listed as a center on that first line, but playing left wing in between. And she'll move it up to Gruger. Gruger tries to get around the defender. She'll go into Brem, but that shot will get pushed wide to Cruz. Cruz moves it up to Randazzo, over across, and that puck will go off over the line as Tegger will have to recollect here as Thomas gets the puck. She moved it up to Grugan earlier. She'll move it up to Grugan again as the puck will go wide into Rose, the captain for the Golden Flyers. She'll bring it up the right. She's taking it all the way for, her, for her, herself. Excuse me. Srandazzo takes the puck away from her. Uh, well, Jana will take a shot on goal. Farmer, easy save for her. As the puck goes down into the left-hand corner. As there's Rice, she'll get the puck away. She'll try to throw it on net. That will get blocked as the puck still stays in the corner. Molly Evans, or excuse me, that's Morissette. She'll bring it forward up to Thomas. Thomas will miss that one. As that's Colbert, she'll try to get the puck in deep. Rice all over as Thomas moves up to McCallan, and then Colbert will retain the puck for the Golden Flyer. She'll move it across to her linemate, Demio. Demio will get that puck in deep. No icing call there. It looked like the farmer came out, so that's why that was waved off as the puck's now over on the right end. Tagger gonna pick the puck up. She's gonna do it herself. She'll take it down the right-hand side, bring it into the middle, make a little move once she gets in, and she'll dump it into the corner. McCown and Mikkel are there. They still throw it out into the slot. No one home for the Lakers as Webster steps off the bench and will get that puck back in for the Lakers. Mechelier now will pressure Demio. Demio makes a move and puts it around the backside of the net. Conboy will pick that one up in the corner. She'll walk out into the front. She'll try moving it down to Newfield Kreider, who couldn't get a shot opportunity off. As Conboy picks the puck back up again, she'll move into the high slot. And she'll get picked off. There's Rice now breaking down the right side. She'll get a shot opportunity. Easy shot for Farmer. She'll make that save, push it off into the corner, and it's back the other way for the Lakers. Here comes Newfield Kreider on the right side. On her backhand, she'll throw it out to Gustafson. That is broken up by Dia Crease as it comes up to Webster. She'll miss that one. And icing waved off as Bailey Thomas is pressured by Decrease. Thomas will make a good play in the corner. She'll move that puck up, up to Gustafson in the neutral zone. She's breaking down the right side. She has shines on the right. She's going to do herself, take the shot. It looks like it goes off the mass of Bream. 15-36 left in the third period here. Some good quality shot opportunities for the Lakers. That's right, absolutely. But the shots really don't show it. It's been back and forth. Not a lot of shots this period as of so far. Oswego with only two. Nazareth with two as well. So it's it's really early to judge, but it should be a back and forth one once again here in the third. Of course, Megan Teachup will pick up that puck off the faceoff. She'll be taken down. But it looks like the second line and the first line up with Oswego as Shines gets moved up to the first line with Teach Out and Stewart as Molly Evans battles the puck down low. It'll get picked up by Stewart, moved up on the left side. That'll get blocked by Nichols. Nichols picked up the puck in the high slot. She's battled with Shines. She'll get a shot off right into the pads of Teach Out. It looks like Luke was in the crease there, battling for that loose puck, but that's swept away by. Farmer with 15.09, and I'm going to throw it down to Nate Bruce in the corner as he gets a rinkside reporter. Go in ahead, In the defensive Nate. zone, being able to get the pucks out, not allowing too many scoring opportunities in their own end, and being calm in the other end, being able to make offensive opportunities, getting pucks in the slot, keeping pucks along the boards, getting them in deep. 
All in all, good game, both offensively and defensively for the Oswego State Lakers. Back to you guys. And now back in the booth here. Lakers will lose that faceoff, but it'll go back into their defensive zone. Teach out will pick that one up up to Thomas. Thomas misses that one. It goes out, and that's offsides. So it'll be a delayed offsides as the Golden Flyers will come back in and pressure Oswego. Rondazzo making a play up to Amber Thomas. She's breaking down the left side. She's got Grugan and Cruz with her. She'll dump it into the corner on Colbert. Colbert gets picked off by Thomas. It's Grugan. All three Lakers in the corner down there is Cruz. We'll also do battle with as Taggart comes away with the puck on the right side. Krugan picks up, tries to pick off a pass between Colbert and Demio. As Demio will end up getting the puck out too. The puck will stay in, and that's an offside, late offsides picked up by Wilgen. Wilgen will get that puck deep, and she'll go for a line change as Rondaz will pick it up in the near corner. She'll get that puck out up to number nine. Krubis, Krubis will do a great job of getting that puck in as Thomas dumps that puck back in to Taggart. Taggart will. Rim that back around to Krubitz. Krubitz up at the point. She'll take a shot. Blocked by Thomas. She's got McCroon. McCroon trying to skate up after this fight. This is going to be a delayed icing, and there's the icing cause. Rose beats her there. Thomas looking for a line change. She's gassed as she'll come over to the bench, but she cannot get a line change. As we got 13.56 left in the second, or in the third period, excuse me, Thomas. What's, what's going on so far for the Lakers here? What's going on so far as of right now, it sounds like a broken record, but definitely a lot of back and forth play once again. Not many shots as we mentioned, but still, it's very early here in the third. It's got to get chippy. The best shot opportunity from Rears go close to the net. She's taken down and McCroon comes down the right side. She'll get the puck in deep for the Lakers. She'll take it all the way into the right corner, right in front of our man behind the glass, Nate Bruth, as she's got the puck behind Broom. She still holds the puck, has allowed her teammates to get a line change here. Mickelier's out with Morris. That's that fourth line for the Lakers. Strong forecheck led to some quality opportunities in the first period from them. They'll move up to Webster. Webster moves it back down to Morissette. She'll look for a shot opportunity to pass across as Brem will hold onto that. Pick that one up out of the air as we move forward here in the third period. Shot opportunity so far, 21 to 17 as they tries to crawl back. They're getting more quality opportunities than they did in the second period here, Thomas. They are. Brem is sick in our head, that's for sure. And she could tell. She, She's not doing it from a goalie perspective, she's doing it from a teammate perspective. She saw her teammates were tired, saw a puck up in the air, froze that, got her team a good line change here in the third. As Oswego will win the faceoff, they'll move it down into the corner. That's Bailey Thomas pinching in for the Lakers as that goes to Newfield Kreider. Newfield Kreider moves over to Conboy behind the net, up two, and she'll get picked off here as Gustafson will help her out, get that puck back down low as Conboy will go back to pressure Colbert. Colbert picks up the puck, goes around Conboy, and she'll get the puck in the corner. Gustafson goes to pressure with Conboy. As now Bailey Thomas gets a shot opportunity from the top. She'll take a clap bomb up, and that puck will not make it, it will get saved by Brem, but no second opportunity there for the Lakers. It's now Bailey Thomas resets here on the regroup. Goes over to Avery Webster. Conboy will miss that as there's an icing call coming up against the Lakers as they don't get a change here. As Bailey Thomas made a great, good shot opportunity, went off the blocker, the slap shot opportunity. Uh, but if you're the Lakers, you gotta keep getting pressure in front of the She net. was, it was a great save on front as We'll try and see the replay here. That was a cannon by Bailey Thomas. Brem staying on top of the blue plate, as well as a lot of traffic out in front. She fought it hard, but she got the save off, and that's what matters for the Golden Flyers right now. Yeah, Brem did a great job. It's the first line for the Golden Flyers to line up against Conboy here. And the rest of that fourth line is Webster will come up with the puck here. She'll make a move around Farmer and move the puck up to Newfield Kreider gets picked off by Krubis. Krubis coming down the right side. She'll move it over to Rice. And she won't get a shot opportunity on that one. She goes into the corner. She gets taken down, but no call there. As here's number 22. That's Will Jill, and she'll throw a shot on net. That'll go wide as number four, Ray. Ray will pick up the puck. Goes up to number 23. And then Shine will get control of it. She'll move it over to Gustafin on the right side. She comes down the right side. It's taken off by Cruz as Room will cover that puck up from the shot opportunity as we got 11.56 left to go in this third period. She is that Brem is most definitely fighting the puck a little bit right now. She's trying to get those whistles. She can tell that her teammates have hit a little bit of fatigue as of right now. And hopefully for the Flyers, they can find a little spark of offense and try
try and even things up here in the third. And if they do end up tying it up here, Oswego's known to be in OT, especially this season after they have four ties so far this season. Here we got a fast break. This is Readers. Readers going across the two on one over to Luke. That was Luke with a back end opportunity on the save from Farmer. Another opportunity. That's from Rose from top as there's so much pressure coming from this Napa Golden Flyers team. This puck goes back into the corner. Teach out will come away with on the right side. She's going to look around and go Krubus. She'll chip it around Krubus and go back into the offensive zone. She'll pick the puck up in the, in the corner. She'll go around, back around Krubus, back around Nicholas, up to Byrne. Byrne gets a shot opportunity. That one goes wide as Aaron Stewart picks the puck up. Back up to Taggart. Taggart moves it back down to Aaron Stewart, who moves it back down to Shines. That gets picked off by Rose. Rose will pick up the puck, move it up to Haley Readers. Readers gets that puck stripped from her back to Reggert, or Taggart, excuse me, up to Byrne. Moves up to Teach Out, looking. If she can't get the puck past the blue line there, it gets picked off. That puck will go back to Byrne in the Lakers zone. She'll move it across to Taggart. Taggart will chip it off the glass, up to Teach Out. Teach Out will glove that one down as she is stripped by number 25. That's Ruben. Ruben, the extra forward, strips Teach Out and gets the puck all the way deep as icing waved off as Taggart will come back for that one. Thomas chips that one up, gets kept in by number 20 there. She gets a shot opportunity, and Farmer will cover here with 10.32 as we're almost halfway through this third and final period of the women's hockey game so far. And looking forward to a men's hockey game later this evening between Geneseo and Oswego, so make sure to tune in to that one as we get lined up for the faceoff here. Thomas Grugan and then Kate Rondazzo on the right side. She's gonna win it into the corner. Rondazzo will go after it. She's battled by Rice. Rice does a good job keeping that puck down low as Thomas comes and helps her out. She'll move across ice to Cruz. That missed pass goes all the way over. And number eight, Barona. Barona will get that puck deep up to Taggart. Taggart, then the Cruz. Grugan making a break again. That's, your lo that's the goal scorer that got the go-ahead goal in the second period as Thomas will intercept the pass and get that taken off her stick as the puck gets dumped in into the Lakers zone. Rondazzo battled with Ray. Ray goes down and Rondazzo gets the puck out to Morrisville. Morissette gets it up to Grugan. Grugan gets another opportunity with Colger. And she'll take it into the corner. Doesn't get a shot opportunity on the break. Puck comes right out to Rondazzo. Rondazzo with a shot. And that puck will go right into Brem. Brem making the save there as Grugan almost got another quality opportunity there on the break. She did and it was a great play by her. She saw the trailers coming so she slowed down a little bit when it came to the bottom of the circle. Looked for the one-timer, deflected out in front, and Randazzo looked for the shot there. Brem said, I'll take that, and it'll remain 2-1. Oh, and Avery Webster right off the faceoff from the point gets a good shot that goes off the defender. Brem had to scramble there to make that save as Asuya is just pouring on the pressure here. Colbert did a great job of making sure Grugan didn't get any opportunities in on Brem on that break as Morissette will line up for the faceoff here. She'll lose that one, it goes back to Colbert. Colbert brings it around the boards, up to number three, that's Decrease. She loses it back to Thomas. Thomas will reset, gives it to Morissette on the left side, and she'll break into the zone here. Colbert makes a good defensive play, but it goes back to McCrown, who dumps it back to Webster. Webster looking for a shot, waits, delays, and she'll shoot, and that's another Oswego goal, as Avery Webster delays the shot, gets around the defender, and puts Oswego up three. 22 left to go in the third period. And what a huge goal for Webster here. A little over halfway through the third period. Webster walked it, waited, and looked for the right shot. Faked out the wing and roofs one on Brem right over the blocker's side. And we got a 3-1 game and a timeout coming. It's looking like Nazareth as they've got some planning to do for this upcoming nine minutes and 22 seconds. Avery Webster with her fourth goal of the season through 21 games played. What a game so far for the Lakers after coming back from this one. That goal, you saw the delay there on the on the shot opportunity on the replay, Thomas, and that's just a good quality shot that the Lakers need to keep having there. That was, she threw it right upstairs and she faked out the wing pretty solidly as it'll remain three to one as of right now. So now Nazar calls that timeout and you're wondering what what's what's the coach saying right now to their team? You're down 3-1 with 9.22 left here, Thomas. What are you saying to your team right now? They got a lot of time left. It's 
it's still not anyone's, it's everyone's game as of right now. It's a two goal game. Yeah, they don't have the shots as of right now, but they can pick it up. They need to relax. And he said, relax, let's go, let's play our game. And hopefully we can find the back of the net to make this a one goal game again. And then if you're Mark Digby, you're, you're talking to your team right now that you're up, you're up 3-1, just got another goal. If you, what are you saying to your team moving forward as they gotta close this one out here? For the Lakers, it's gotta be defense first especially when you're going against that second line that we have mentioned. Defense first, and you'll see that third line is coming out between Neufeld, Kreider, Gustafson, and Conboy, and they have been great at shutting down this Nazareth offense tonight. Yes, of course, as they'll line up for the faceoff here. That, that one's battled off as Ray will get that puck deep into the Lakers zone. Is there as Molly Evans will pick that puck up. A lot of energy so far from both teams that that puck goes down the ice. Newfield Kreider will win the race. What effort from Newfield Kreider. She'll win the race as that scrum down in the corner of the corner. As the play continues to go on, as you heard the music come on briefly, but Convoy will pick it up on the right side. She'll take a shot. That gets blocked by Krubis. Krubis does a great shot there. Blocking that shot. Burn takes another shot opportunity as Newfield Kreider was on the back door. Almost got a stick on that one for the fourth goal of the game. But Gustafson will keep it down low in the corner. She'll battle. It's number 23. Cromer will come away the puck up to Wiljen. Wiljen on the right side. She'll move it up to Ray on the left as that puck will go into the penalty, the penalty box as now we have a break here. 8.31 left to go in the game. Oswego is leading 3-1 to one over the Nazareth Golden Flyers. And it's been a great game, and that's a fact. And very beginning, once again, back and forth. Nazareth got the first, and Oswego's got him ever since then. 3-1, but still, it's such a great game to watch today. Both teams battling very hard. Yeah, but now we got the sec the first line, excuse me, out with, for Oswego, as Shines got moved up to center that first line of Stewart and Teach Out. We get an icing. Next game at home is February 15th against Buffalo State Bengals. That is senior day at 4 p.m. faceoff. That's a big new WHL matchup, uh, especially uh, for the Lakers. They sit in second place at Buffalo State, chilling down in the sixth position. Teach out gets a nice opportunity right in the faceoff circle. Sorry to interrupt you, Thomas. But what do you got to say about this conference for play? For the standing, it's really tight. That battle against Morrisville last week was a huge two points that they took away. Morrisville still got a game on Oswego, so they have four games left to play, and Oswego with three. So it should be a close one win the standings in these upcoming weeks. Rondazer got a shot oppor opportunity from that faceoff. It's that puck will go all the way out, back into the neutral zone as the Golden Flyers will hold. Is now, looks like there's a delayed off size and we are waiting for uh, Golden Fire to get back inside, but Teach Out will take a puck. She'll get her pass ripped away from one of the Golden Flyers as Shines will pick that back up in the neutral zone. She'll move it over to Stewart. Two on one break here. She'll put on the brakes, but fall down. But Bailey Thomas will pick that one back up. And now here comes number 13. That is Thompson. Thompson gets a puck down in deep. And looks like Oswego will be going to the box. 7.23 left to go in this period. And looks like Oswego will be back on the PK. It is, and we got Bailey Thomas, and she's going to go to the box for a slash here. This is a crucial power play for Nazareth, who is much needed for a goal here on the power play in the man advantage. And Os Oswego, one for two on the power play. But Nazareth 0 for 2. If you want to get back in this game, here's your quality opportunity with 7.23 left to go. They'll wind up for the faceoff here. This is such a great opportunity here for Nazareth. But when you're Nazareth, you can't pull what Oswego did. They had a great power play opportunity in the first, but they canceled it out just 17 seconds into that power play. And then as you saw the puck go down the ice, that's a clear from Newfield Kreider. She did a great, or Gustafson, excuse me. That puck goes down into the Nather zone as they'll break back up here. Here's number 21 getting the puck in deep. Augustine will make another play here, keep that puck out. And the PK for the Oswego Lakers will get a line change here. Thomas Stewart, teach out, will pop back out, and Webster will stay on for the Lakers. Tip pass from number 18 doesn't get through as Lutz. Uh, pass opportunity will go all the way back down as Thomas pressures. 
and readers will t pick the puck up in their own zone. She'll get taken out by Webb Thomas, but keep the puck, moves it over to Cubis. Up to Rose, Rose on the left side. She'll break into the zone here for the Golden Flyers. Get around Teach Out, or excuse me, Taggart, and the puck will stay down and low. And here comes Stewart. She'll try to get the puck out, but leaves the puck behind as the puck stays in net or in the zone with 48 seconds left in the period. Luke brings it around, moves it. Oh my God, almost out to Nicole Nicholas. And she didn't get that shot opportunity through in the slot as they set back up, up top. Over to 21, she'll get a shot opportunity that goes wide. That's Miller Johnson, she won't get that shot through as the puck's now on the back of the net, behind the net of Farmer. As Thomas will make an interception on the pass, she'll break up the side, she'll bump it around. Number 21, that's Miller Johnson as the puck will go back to Colbert. Colbert picks up the puck, looks up ice to number 23, that's Cromer, Cromer trying to set up here with 10 seconds left on the penalty for Bailey Thomas. She'll come back shortly. Puck comes out into the slot. Gustafson will put that one out as we are back to even strength. Lakers kill off another penalty here as they're 0 for, or 3 for 3, excuse me, on the penalty. Here comes Kate Rendazzo. She'll get a shot blocked from Rosa. She's shook up from it, but Kohlberg will battle Rendazzo back in the corner as we got five Oh, six left to go in this final period of play. It's been such a great penalty kill for the Lakers today. Absolutely perfect as of right now with 100% PK efficiency. And this should be an interesting finish with a little, little under five minutes to go. Rice tries to throw a shot on to Rachel Farmer. She'll make the save, it goes over to Byrne. Up to Newfield Kreider who dumps that one out. Almost touched by Krubis, but that icing is waved off as she'll come back pressured by Conboy. Krubis brings it up the right hand. She'll throw it back around to her captain, Rose. Rose will move it up to number 17. That's Darby. Darby makes a good play up to number seven. That puck gets in from Strahlin. Strahlin does a great job battling with Webster now as Cruz will pick up that puck in the corner. She'll move it up once again over to Grugan. And now it's what? It's Thomas versus Krubis. The both number nines as Krubis will do a great job here keeping Thomas from any scoring opportunity as the puck goes into the corner. Sarah Cruz pops out into the slot, but the puck doesn't go her way as Darby will clear that one over to the left side of her zone. Colbert now has to race back, get the puck from uh, Bren, but Krubis will beat her there. She's pressured by Thomas once again. Colbert still out on the ice for the Golden Flyers as there's 3.48 left to go in this third period. This first line is back out, which shines uh, Stewart, and then Grugan still on the ice for the Lakers. She'll dump the puck into the other corner and get a line change here as Stewart is pressuring Darby and Teach Out will come off the bench, pick up the puck and she'll race into the neutral zone. Moves it over to Shines. She's calling back for it. Shines will take a shot on goal. Looking for the tip opportunity from Teach Out. But it goes back up to Bailey Thomas. Bailey Thomas with a shot. That will go wide as that was a good quality opportunity from the give and go play there from Teach Out and Shines. Teach Out will pick it back up in the right corner. She's pressured by Kuhn. Back to Teach Out. Teach Out with a shot. But that's saved by goaltender Brem with 3.09 left to go in the third period. And we're set for a good final three minutes here in the Murano Campus Center. That we are. And, now, and it was great now, offensive opportunity. Now, Thomas, I'm going to throw it down to Nate, our ringside reporter on WTOP 10. Kept the momentum. Now they just got to close this game out strong like they've been doing, keeping the pucks in deep, cycling it, and making sure they maintain possession. Great game overall by the Lakers. Back to you guys. And now McCrown will get lined up for the faceoff. There's a little, little line dispute between the Golden Flyers and McCrown, Morissette, and looks like Mikulir out there as looks like coach for the Nazareth Golden Fire. That's Chris Bono. He's a little frustrated with the referees on the far side. That's holding up this call right now as we are waiting for puck drop. The Lakers will group up here, talk about strategy moving forward uh, as we wait on the referees as they come back here and we get set for a faceoff with 3.09 left in the period. 30 to 20 shots as Oswego leads as puck drop in the corner right now. Oswego will lose that one, but the puck will go back in the corner. McCrewen battles as there's a hand pass and it looks like Oswego will not be allowed to change as we'll get set for another face-off here uh, as we wait 
uh, or once again. But Thomas, what, what are you thinking so far? Three minutes of play. If you're the Golden Flyers, what do you got to do to get back in this game right now? The Golden Flyers, you got to use your lines for sure. You can't run on one line. That's going to be huge because fatigue is most definitely going to be a factor. You got three minutes left in a game where it's very close. A one goal, two goal game to make it a one goal game could be a huge momentum changer. And the puck comes out as Krubis gets the puck out for the Golden Flyers. It's number 11. That's Demio. Demio will pick that one back to Cruz. Cruz makes a move on Morissette. She'll move it up to number 18. That's Luke. Luke, the lone goal scorer for the Nazareth Golden Flyers. She'll take it down the left side as the goalie's still in net for the Golden Flyers with 2.33 left to go. Puck comes out to Cruz. Rose takes a good shot. Puck is loose in the crease. That looks like a save from Farmers. As Tiger does a great job getting that puck out of the crease. And that's a good shot opportunity for the Golden Flyers as they could have got one here late in the third period. McCroom will get this one deep with 2.13 left to go in the final period. That's number 11, Demio looks to move it up. She'll move it across to Rose. Rose with a good shot opportunity just seconds ago. She'll move it up the left hand wing to Luth. Luth will get this puck deep as Ree will get the puck. She's the left winger on the first line. She'll stay pressure in the corner as that first line will Jean also battling there in the corner. Readers will come out for the lake or for the Golden Flyers. She'll get a shot opportunity and a glove save by Rachel Farmer with 1.45 left to go in the period. And we'll see that uh, Brem is going to the bench and they're gonna pull the goalie here with a minute 45 to go. But Rachel Farmer, what a huge save and what a great job by her defense to keep that puck out of the net. We saw bodies flying all over the place in front of the crease with that great uh, uh, great attack by Nazareth. Yep, and now Bailey Thomas will take the puck back behind Farmer as there's six on five, extra skater out as Brem did go to the bench. So looks like Golden Flyers will look to set up here as Byrne will get the puck here on the left wing. She's breaking down. She gets over the red line but can't get the puck deep as Thomas will move it up. And Gustafson will get this puck deep for Conboy. Conboy looks to pressure Colbert. Colbert comes up with the puck on the right side. She's breaking up. She'll move it up to Nicholas. Nicholas will get this puck deep. And Avery Webster will grab the puck in her own corner. She'll lose it. Ray throws it out front. A lot of bodies in front of the net, but that puck will stay out. It's now she'll move it up to Colbert. Colbert, shot opportunity blocked by Gustafson. Big block there from the forward as she'll make a great play and keep this puck from going in the net. 51 seconds left to go in this game as the puck stays hemmed down in the Oswego zone. As Conboy will pressure number 18, Luth. Luth, the lone goal scorer, she'll move it up to the point to Krubis. Krubis moves it back down to Strahlen. Strahlen moves it back down over. She's in the slot opportunity, but can't get a chance there. As Kohlberg looks for a shot, but she'll move it over to Luth. Luth, Luth, that goes in! The Golden Flyers get on the board here with 26 seconds left to go in the third period from a shot from Abby Luth. As it looks like we're going to have an inciting 26 seconds left to go here, Thomas. That's most definitely correct. A shot by Luth, and we were talking about this line all day long. They connect here at a crucial point here in the third to create a 3-2 game, but it's got to be real quick if they want to think of one here as we see the goal. It looks like it trickles just over Farmer's shoulder, bounces off the shoulder, and rolls into the goal to create a one-goal game in a crucial 26 seconds, almost 27, as we'll see Brem over, over the hash marks looking to pull the goalie quick and effectively for the Flyers. Thomas will lose that face off with 24 seconds left to go. Krubis will pick it up in her own zone. She'll move it up as that puck gets taken out tipped out, still in the neutral zone, that's Rose. She'll move it up to Luth. Luth gets that puck in deep. Taggart will get the puck in the corner as the goalie is pulled once again for Nazareth. Taggart gets the shot off. She's looking at the net. That's blocked by Rose. The puck's down low now in front of the net. And that's the game as the Lakers come away with a victory here on Sunday as the Lakers win 3-2 over the, the Nazareth Golden Flyers. That's the game there, Thomas. What a victory for the Lakers. And what a game it was. It was very back and forth all the way at the very end. You see the Lakers, they went down one nothing. Then they come up 3-1. And then Nazareth, just to make things even more curious, 
They put one in late in the third to make the one goal game go in the final minute, but the Lakers hold on to take a very motivating win going into league play next week at Buffalo State. Yep, Thomas, as we're gonna wrap it up here from the Murano Campus Center, the Lakers win three to two over the Golden Flyers. We'll be back shortly for a game against Geneseo and the Oswego men's hockey team as we have a SUNYAC game later this evening, 6 p.m. puck drop with a 5.30 pregame show only here on WTLP 10. Thanks for tuning in with us and we'll see you shortly from the Murano Campus Center.